Hi guys, I am at the Phoenix Theatre today where Avita is currently playing and I'm chatting to one of the stars of the show, the star of the <laughs> show, Emma Hatton. Hello. 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 How are you? <laughs> I'm very well, thank you. How's it all going? It's really good. Yeah, we're having a lovely time. We're, um, we're just at the end of our press week, so it's been quite intense. Um, but we can now just enjoy a couple of uh, weekend shows which are always really lovely. I came to see it last night. Oh, did you? Um, and I don't have the best Avita track record. Okay. Um, I've seen it a few times. I saw it on Broadway with Ricky Martin. Okay. Which was fine. Yeah. Um, and I've seen another production. I won't go into detail. Um, and I've never been a massive fan. Okay. But last night I was blown away. Really? Um, he has to say that. No, saying. no. Do you know what? <laughs> I wouldn't say it if it wasn't true. Okay. okay. Um, you were incredible. Thank you. Um, and also your tray. He's fat, um, isn't he? He was, yeah. Yeah, he's um, beautiful as well. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll come on to that. <laughs> um, no, it really was incredible. Thank so you. much so that I'm actually going to come back before it closes. Oh, amazing. I enjoyed it that much. Amazing. So, well done. Thank you, you very much. Um, and you. it's been on tour, and like, how's the whole process been? It's been um, intense. Um, we do weekly venues on the tour. So, we started the rehearsals in December, um, opened in January in Bromley, and then we did weekly venues um, up until. 23rd of July and then we came straight into rehearsals for Tang so it's been pretty relentless um, but it's just been brilliant we've been so well received around the UK and um, in Germany and Switzerland um, and then when we found out we were coming to the West End for mm. it, we were all just thrilled so yeah I think it's um, it's been well received it's a really tight production and um, fits the Phoenix beautifully I thought we all thought it was gonna be a little bit tight but um, but actually it gives it that intimacy and yeah. um, which I think the piece warrants um, but yeah, it's, you know we've 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 got one extra cast member that that swapped over because one girl already had work lined up. But right. it's the original cast from from the tour, so we've all kind of just unpacked our suitcases and and come into town. It came into town, so yeah, it's been, been really lovely. Brilliant. And um, what's it all about? So if people haven't seen Avita, don't know the story. What's the? Okay, so it's a true story. Um, and it's based on the um, heroine or anti-heroine um, of Argentinian politics from the 1940s. Um, Ava Perón, she was a um, young kind of street girl, you know, really feisty, um, came from very humble beginnings. Um, and she basically clawed her way to the top, um, very savvy. Um, and, and obviously it's, it's written by fantastic Andrew Wood Webber and Tim Rice and um, so there's some some iconic songs in there don't cry for me Argentina but but what's nice is that it, people know that song's a standalone it was originally yeah. done as a concept album I didn't know that okay. so and then it was turned into a piece right. um, but it's about her political ascension um, and what's so brilliant is that she was loved and hated in equal measure so people come to the theatre and they're not sure whether they're supposed mm. to love her or hate her and as an actress that's that's such a great challenge to play yeah. because you're you're playing the complexities of, of human the human condition you know so no one person is truly good or truly evil and um, so that's fascinating it's such a great journey to go on as an actress. And it's one of those shows that when you come and see it you think oh I forgot this song was it. Yeah. Like there yeah. are there is more than just that one Absolutely. song. Absolutely when I because I've never seen the show not once um, which I'm a bit gutted about now because I would really love to see it and I don't think I'll get to now but um, yeah so you when when we first got sent the score, obviously I knew Don't Cry From Argentina and Another Suitcase in Another Hall. Um, but then, oh, what a circus. Um, what is it, Oh, just, and and you think, oh, it's, it's quite a somber story because um, she died at 33. Yeah. And they have to tell that story, obviously. Um, but I was so surprised, pleasantly surprised at how upbeat the show is in places. Um, it's vibrant and the choreography is so dynamic and, and the band is just, they're phenomenal. And it's it's just a joy to listen to that music every night. Yeah. I yeah. thought the way the way the death is portrayed was done very kind of beautifully. Like the way that they, you know, it's where she kind of just disappears off yeah. and you know what's happened. Yeah, I think, um, you know, we can't rewrite history. She dies, I know some people are like, oh, it's quite a downbeat ending, but I think, you you need that kind of the build and then you know it's it's not it's not all somber at the end it's actually just poignant and and talks about how, how did she die was it it was ovarian cancer right yeah um 33 so yeah. which i was 33 when i got the role right. and so there was that that kind of um 
you know, it really did hit home. The age that she was and what she'd achieved in that lifetime yeah. was just phenomenal, really was. Um, and you get to do the iconic Avita. I do. <laughs> do they do they teach you? Like, is it just that simple, or is there um, a knack to it? They, uh, I mean, I think if I'd got it wrong, they would have told me. Yeah. Um, but but obviously everybody knows the kind of the iconic pose that she does, um, and it's really empowering mm. when you do it. You know, it's it's um, you really do feel like you're kind of leading the nation. It's it's. Because they fun. kind of do it in Woody, don't they? When Glinda stands there. I don't um, know what, I've never thought of that. I always wondered if that's a little nod to Avita. Maybe there is, maybe there is. Um, and talking of Wicked, you yeah. obviously played Elf Above, I did, yeah. um, in the West End. Yeah. Uh, which was brilliant, but it really feels, watching you last night, like this, this is like something you, like this is the role for you. Is it, has it been one of your dream roles? It was a role that I knew um, I would love to play, purely because um, the people that I looked up to when I first came into the industry, Rachel Wooding, Louise Dearman, yeah. um, they were kind of the role models for me, and I knew that they played those this role. So I remember when I did my first show, which was Dreamboats and Petticoats, one of my dressers had just been dressed in Rachel Wooding as right. Ava, and I was in awe. I just thought, mm. oh my gosh, what an amazing role. And I actually got to work with Rachel in We Will Rock You, and she's yes. a good friend of mine now. And um, yeah, and I think Wicked was my first lead role in my own right, so I kind of went straight in there with one of the, the larger roles. Yeah. And there is that question that I get, you know, put to me quite a lot, is where do you go from Elphaba? Um, and Ava really was the natural fit. Um, it's uh, not that dissimilar to Elphaba in terms of the the feistiness mm -hmm. and willing to go against everybody in the grain to, to stand up for what she believes in. Yeah. Um, but it's vocally very, very demanding, physically very demanding. So there's a lot of comparisons there, but a lot of people have said to me, like, this this seems to be the natural fit for me. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I can't argue with that. It, yeah. it feels very natural to play this role. I've seen, I mean, I've seen a few people play it, but you really did feel, or you, did, you looked at home, it looked like yeah, that and was I think, your kind of music. Yeah, and, and, and what's been so lovely about this this part is that perhaps because I haven't been overexposed to the music and overexposed to the show, I was able to come to it with um, fresh eyes um, and deliver it. I mean, I've always tried to do that with every role that I've done, where instead of trying to sing it the way everybody else has done it, I know that I'm not a traditional musical theatre singer my background is blues and jazz yeah. so my I always said my USP is that my voice is not the same as everybody else's it has got that slightly more gravelly raw sound to it but what's been so wonderful about both Wicked and Ava is that it's taught me to sing technically and, and correctly and safely and this has taught me how to sing classically mm. you know it's it's um it spans so many genres of it's music it's very different from alphabet it really is it? yeah i mean alphabet is is up there and it's yeah. loud and it's brash a lot of the time because that's the character and yeah. um, whereas this she has those moments of those political when she's trying to vie for mm. you know for the support yeah. but there are also those really soft vulnerable moments and don't cry for me argentina when they directed me in singing that it was all about the words. It was yeah. not a song, it was a monologue of, um, you know, trying to, it's calculated, it's manipulative, and it's trying to win those people around. And so every single lyric, Tim Rice's lyrics are mm. just second to none. And they're so economical and not one word is wasted. So you have to make every word count. And so your diction is really important. Mm. So it's taught me, you know, how to really perform those, those kind of caliber of, of of songs. It's great. Um, now, last night was a very special night for me because I found my future husband. Um, your chain. Oh, he doesn't oh I yet. see. <laughs> <laughs> um, what now? I'll let you pronounce his name because oh, Gian you, Marco. You, yeah, you go first. Shiretti. Perfect. Oh. Yes. And um, there we go. I'll show He's the camera. Really if, difficult if on the eye, isn't For he? no other reason. You have to come and see Avita to say, oh, I think I found him love. He's beautiful. Um, so can you pass on my number? Of course I will, yeah. I mean, I mean he has got a girlfriend, but oh, you don't seem bothered by that. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Until they meet me. <laughs> um, no, he's he's also incredible. And yeah. vocally, you two, you were brilliant together. He did Tarzan for four yeah. years. So 
you know, I came from a very vocally and physically demanding show. I mean, his is probably even harder physically than than Wicked was. Um, but he has that he has that discipline, he has that um, stage presence. Um, and Jeanne is just the most generous performer and person on and off stage. He really is a joy, like everybody just adores him. He's so diligent, he speaks too many languages. <laughs> you know, but bear in mind, this is not his first language and he's worked so, so hard and, and vocally he's so strong. I mean, the notes that he hits, particularly in, um, and the money kept rolling in, and he hits a high note. I, I mean, I don't even know what that note is, but yeah. it's, it's off the scale somewhere. I don't remember what it's like Mariah Carey style. Last yeah. night, I was like, <laughs> it's like a whistle tone oh coming out the corner of the stage, but he's, he's just phenomenal, and he looks like that, and you're like, it's not mm. fair, really, is it, that the gene pool kind of was so generous to one person. But so come and see Avita, if for no other just reason. Just for Marco. But make amazing. sure you buy your programme, um, because. The fact is. I was so glad I had one last night. Um, so finally, why should people come and see Avita? You're here until the 14th of October. 14th of October. Um, it's a classic. Um, if you love musical theatre, um, it delivers exactly what you want it to. Um, we have a very, very strong cast who have bonded very, very well. It's slick. It feels fresh. The music feels fresh. Um, and it teaches you a bit about history, which, you know, if you're going to the theatre, you, you, you go in just for, you know, some nice uh, recreational time, but why not make some educational time yeah. out of it as well? So you'll learn a lot as well. There we go. Come and see it. Um, I'll put a link in the description below to where you can buy tickets. Um, Avita is playing at the Phoenix Theatre until the 14th of October, the day before my birthday. Fair um, on that. <laughs> and uh, leave a comment for me or Emma in the comment section below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Thank see you, you soon. Bye bye. I don't know who I'm saying. See you soon too. <laughs> <laughs> Shall Thank Marco you. probably. <laughs> <laughs>